Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Well, really differently recently, which is why you haven't seen any videos for a long time. Started off with Suz having some essential stomach surgery, and then, well, <laughs> not much later, she had to have some brain surgery. And uh, I managed to get lead poisoning. Yes, I make bullets, and um, I lost both of my uh, large ginger cats. Uh, the short-haired ones. We did have an olive for harvest which worked out quite well, good quality oil that one, and we were invaded by sheep. Well it is New Zealand, what to expect? And of course they had little baby sheep which are ever so cute. Yes. Um, I've come out as actually being a cowboy with uh, the local cowboy club um, and then we went to the UK. Uh, uh, Suz went to Bath and did the Jane Austen thing and I went down a hole in Cheddar on a rope and looked at some caves and I uh, took this rather nice award-winning photograph. Good day. Eh? We looked at some of the other old rocks while we were in the UK and a few old fossils that are even older than I am in the Science Museum. It's a great place, that. Uh, and then at the other extreme, we went to Disneyland Paris and uh, we went up in a balloon and looked down on the whole thing in the sky at night which was absolutely stunning and then rushing back to the UK where my dad was seriously in hospital and then it was my turn to be seriously in hospital with prostate cancer how about that back home to another sheep invasion yeah uh, a good thing Tamara won an award for local volunteer work with the fab lab and then we had Christmas when my sister-in-law had to have brain operation. But now all is sweetness and light and fluffiness. That is, until I nearly blew my head off with a hunting rifle accident. Um, and uh, who knows, maybe I'll have better luck next time. Cool shades, huh? There to stop the uh, dust and crap that I'm cleaning out of the greenhouse going in my eyes. And there is a lot of dust and crap in here. <laughs> Back to it. There she is, all spick and span. Blimey, that was hard work. Now I'm just going to make it a little bit moist by spraying the hose around in here and leave it to steam for a little bit. So, what is this nutter doing? Steaming his greenhouse, you may ask. Well, that's because <laughs> the acid works best when things are a little bit moist. Acid? So about now you're going, what's with this acid thing, Vic? Isn't that terribly dangerous? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to create sulfurous acid, not sulfur dioxide, from some sulfur, some potassium nitrate or saltpeter, and my favourite poison, sugar. It's a very simple recipe. We're not after grinding it up particularly fine or anything. I'm just using this to mix it in. One part of saltpeter. It's a bit grubby because it's from the bottom of the jar. I'll have to get some more. Uh, five spoonfuls of sulfur and when this stuff burns it creates the sulfurous smoke which hopefully will do in any nasty creepy crawlies in the greenhouse that's about five isn't it you were watching and now using a different spoon that comes from the house here are we there we go some sugar that doesn't look like enough this is not great scientific art it will burn anyway. Sulfur's pretty good at that. And then we mix it up, and I'm going to wrap it up in some newspaper. And then I'm going to burn it on something that won't mark the greenhouse floor. Right, let's go sort them out. It is really hot and humid in here, so uh, let's light these things up, being careful, remembering it's not great for humans. And we've basically just uh, recreated that old Greek favourite, Greek fire. Crap out of the greenhouse, eh? Hey.
Yeah, I can't see that very well. Anyway, there it is, burning away. It smells like the very gates of hell in there, so I'm gonna shut the door now. Here we are a few minutes later. That's all misted up really nicely in there, a lot of the humidity and everything. Um, I should probably reiterate that if you go in there and breathe that, you're dead. Um, but then so are all the creepy crawlies of my greenhouse. And uh, I'm making sure dog doesn't go in there. Well, today is tomorrow already, and it's my birthday, but more importantly, it's safe to go in there now. Doing the actual plumbing was uh, pretty easy. I've done it all already, but I did have to run in a new electric power line, one that the dog couldn't reach. Anyway, the dog also provides us with uh, lots of cardboard that comes around his food, which is almost as good as the weed mat for suppressing weeds under the runs. So I'm going to get on with shoving loads of cardboard on the floor. That way, dog. Now we just leave it to run for a bit with all the holes covered so that the algae doesn't grow in the sunlight. And we'll find out where all the leaks are. Today, I'm going to show you the brains of the outfit, which sure the hell ain't me. Um, we have lime loaded water, so we need to bring the, uh, the acidity up a bit. We need to throw acid into the lime. This little box here contains a micro that senses how much lime there is in the water through a pH probe and runs this little pump uh, which will inject acid into our water tank to compensate for the alkalinity of the lime. Here we have a wondrous homebrew system based on a little Arduino microcontroller. It has two pumps, one for each of the nutrient tanks that the hydroponic system uses, innovatively labelled A and B, and when you push that red button there, it will run the pumps for 30 seconds. If you push the red button twice, it will run it for whole minute and so forth. This little pump here runs basically a flood and drain tray. So every four hours it will run, fill a little tray with water, and then that will drain away over the next couple of minutes. And that stops the plants being waterlogged. Our main nutrient is water, but it comes with a lot of lime in. And we measure this with the pH probe here. You have to keep these wet 24 seven or they die and they're expensive. Okay. We'll connect it up uh, to the control box. That tiny little glass bulb there, uh, that's very delicate. And we clean it with a Teflon brush if it gets a bit grubby. That's like an artist brush. Now let's pop this in the main tank. Here we go. All the way to the bottom. I don't know as you can make out that on there, but it says uh, 7.5. Uh, which means this thing is just alkaline and we want it just acid. So the way we deal with that is down here we have a tub of um, nitric acid diluted 50 mil per litre that gets pumped through this tube here in via this uh, nice little peristaltic pump and that goes down there, where are we, uh, straight into the tank neutralizes the lime. At the moment I've got it set to do it once a minute because uh, we've only just plugged it in but after a while I'll set it to do once every six minutes. And we'll get to what? Oh there he goes. The reason we use... The reason we use nitric acid is because when it neutralizes the calcium carbonate in the lime uh, it produces calcium nitrate which is basically one of the nutrients that we use in our hydroponic system anyway. So by removing the lime problem, uh, we actually create more fertilizer for the plants. So now I can get back on with my greenhouse. And that's all from down on Hugo Farm.